Okay, I'd mentioned before that there is a WordPress plugin called TubePress that will allow you to pull videos to your website uh, in a fairly um, sophisticated manner. As you know, Bill, um, you're able to pull in a single video with a number of thumbnails so that you can show related content. There's a single plugin that does this, but it does it doing two different methods. One is the keyword method, which is what we've got going on here. We've put in tags for working dogs, working dog videos, um, and it's going out to YouTube and pulling in all related uh, videos based on that keyword. Now, the downside to this method is that you will occasionally get videos that are not what you want. The second method of putting videos on is what's called a playlist. Now at YouTube, if you log into YouTube or you find a video that you like, you can add it to a playlist. So this allows you to go through, view the videos, vet them, in other words, determine whether or not you'd like them to appear on your site. And for all those that you do want to appear on your site, you can add them to a playlist. Now Bill, do you have a YouTube account? Can you sign in for me? Okay, now I'm not going to add, I'm going to show you how to add them to the playlist. It doesn't have to be one that you intend to keep, okay? So you would first come to YouTube, log into your account, and then do a search for the type of video you want to include. So for your pet blog, Bill, what's the next category of videos you want? Okay, so if I understand you correctly, we're going to do, uh, for this one, something with funny, uh, funny videos involving dogs. So I'm going to put funny dog, and that's enough. Just funny dog, anything that has to do with funny dogs. So we'll use this one to show you how to add them to the playlist so that you can add them via TubePress. Now, because we've already watched it, I don't need to let the video play. Underneath every video on YouTube is an opportunity for you to add it to a playlist. See this little icon right here, playlist. So we're going to choose this, and it's going to give us an opportunity to add it to one of our existing playlists or create a new one. Since we want to create a new video tab for, called Funny Dogs, we will create a playlist called Funny Dogs. Okay, we're going to click Add. Now we have one video on that playlist. So, world's most patient dog, let's go see if this one might be I'll let it play for a moment you tell me yes or no okay so yes on this video so let's stop it we're gonna click on playlist and because we've already created it it is now within this drop-down if it was not the last one you added you would be able to click the drop-down and choose it and then choose add now we have two, which is enough to get us what we need to know, and that's the playlist ID. Playlist ID is something we're going to tell this plugin that I'm a, that I'm, we're about to review. We're going to tell it which playlist to get. Now every playlist created on YouTube has its own unique. For this example, we want to choose the funny dogs video or playlist. So I'm going to choose it. And that gives me an ID right here at the end. I'm going to copy this ID and we're going to put it in the plugin where we're going to create the page. So we're going to go back over to your dashboard. We're going to Pages, Add New. And just like before, we're going to create a page with the title that lets the visitor know he can expect to find. Okay, we're not going to do too much in here just yet. I, I want to draw your attention to the parent over here on the right under the attributes. We want to choose videos as the parent. Okay, so over here you would type in an introduction to this videos and try to use the keywords that you want to attract your target market. So, um, for example, uh, check out the funniest dog videos I've ever seen. These working dogs or funny dog videos um, bring a smile to my face. I hope they, they do for you as well. Just, you know, an introduction because this is what Google sees. Google can't see the videos, 
Google does see the text that you type here and the descriptions of the videos that are being shown below. So I'm going to leave uh, this here. I'm just going to put the intro and I want you to fill that in. On the HTML tab, this is what you have to put in to bring in a tube press set of videos in the mode for playlist. Since I don't know the actual code here, I'm going to show you where to find the documentation to get those short codes. We are going to, under settings, locate the tube press plugin and open that in a new tab. Now that it's open in a new window, we can click on this tab and right at the top of these settings is an area where you can see the documentation. I'm going to click on this link and I'm looking for the HTML version of the documentation. That is right here. Once I'm here, I just locate short codes. That's what we're looking for, the two press short codes. One more link, and I don't know why they're not all right there together, but here's the sample right here. So I got, I got it pretty close to right. So I'm just going to copy that little example, come back over to our page, and put it here. And then, of course, make the changes that we want. Paste. So this playlist value has to change. This is the one we want. So I'm going to copy this a second time. And we want to replace it right here. Oops. So what appears between the quotes, we want to put our playlist there. Now, if we publish, it's immediately available. I'm not going to publish just yet because we haven't got the video or the intro in, but I will show you a preview of this page. Now, I mentioned earlier that there are two types, the, the tags or the keyword based and the playlist. So in just a moment, I'll show you the other one. But this is how it will appear, funny dog videos, your entry will appear or your intro will appear here and all of the videos you've chosen will appear if you choose more videos than what will fit based on the the settings it will automatically add what's called pagination it'll add a series of links right up here where you can choose first page second page third page etc so that's playlist style the second style is tag style and I'm gonna I'm gonna create one more that will save using the tag style or the keyword style that way you can refer back to it okay so for this one we will do uh, okay dog carriers once again in the HTML tab your intro and then this. The phrase is the short code syntax, which is square bracket, tube press, space, mode equal tag, space, tag value equal dog carriers. Okay. If you have more than one tag or keyword you want to use, separate them by commas. So if we wanted, for example, to have both dog and cat carriers, you could add both keywords side by side. Okay, let's preview what this one looks like. And this this could tell us whether or not we want to go with the keyword or if it's going to be important for us to go choose and select based on our playlist. So here's an example of your pagination because we've returned more videos than what will fit based on the number of thumbnails we told TubePress to display. So there's quite a few videos that are being displayed and there are multiple pages. This is keyword driven versus the playlist. Now like I said before the the downside is you may get videos in here you did not intend. Like a solve it dog trailer nothing whatsoever to do with dog carriers but they've keyword tagged it that way so you're going to get that video. That's one of the reasons I suggest using a playlist. It does give you a little opportunity to um, pre-vet 
the videos you want to use. So do you have any questions about what we've done? Do you think you could create one? Correct. Uh, let me restate the question for the video. Y your question was, if we add a page and we create it as a subcategory under videos, meaning videos is the parent page, each one of these will be its own page as a subcategory and will appear under this video link right here. So in our example, we would have working dog videos, dog carriers, and funny dog videos. So I hope this has helped, Bill. If you have any further questions, feel free to IM or email me and let me know.